seem... Oh no. I really just... I really just want to hold your hand. Estelle? Oh. Hi, Rain. Hey. Is she not coming out? No. <sighs> Galaxy. I... I know you've been through a lot. But you're here with us now. Please come out. Galaxy. I've been trying for a while. I don't I don't I don't think she wants to come. I think I don't think it's a matter of wanting to come. I think it's a matter of wanting to do anything. She's been holed up in her room since... since everything happened. You're missing out on her gorgeous dress, Galaxy! And all the sweets! Yeah, melon and juice! And to poke fun at your sister! And melon juice! I'm sorry, Estelle. It's fine. It's fine. Hopefully once she's feeling better we can have a a party with ourselves. Mm -hmm. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Okay. Well, I guess I guess it's time. I'm scared. I can't- I can't do it. No, you'll be fine. You look beautiful. The tailor did amazing on that dress. I mean, and the stars. I really love the stars, but I don't know. I- I'm scared. I know. You will do fine. Oh, I need to get you some flowers to hold. Uh, let's see. What flowers? What flowers? You have this one. An azalea flower. Ooh. Beautiful. Okay, that's kind of pretty. Beautiful. It matches your dress. Oh, yeah. I really like this dress. Yeah, it, the, it's an amazing dress. You should keep it. Oh, oh I definitely am. I'm just getting added to my wardrobe. Oh, I love it. Alright. Well, um, if you... You may want to go ahead to the vent plaza. I'm going to go check the the waystone and see if anybody has arrived. Well, yeah. well what am I supposed to do? Do I, do I need to wait until everyone's ready and then I just descend? Or oh, do I have to maybe wait you should there? do that. Yeah, 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 maybe you should do that. Okay, you, you stay here and okay. I will I will send you a missive and let you know. Okay. Okay. Things are here. Woo! Hello. Hello. Yes, I, I we moved the conduit. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> oh, no, it's good. Okay. Um, a... I hello. will. Hello. Um. 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 Oh. I just saw someone. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hello. Uh, hello. hello. How can hello. I help? Hello. Uh, help my, you. My name's Paula. Uh, I have some notes to leave someone handed me a book and or a couple of books and told me to run around and uh leave them in mailboxes for the kingdom and i kind of don't know who to deliver them to directly ah uh, I, uh, I, uh, I know that there's the box over here for them and i've left one there, there. Uh, there's a bunch of mailboxes over there if you want or you can just leave one in the in the main mailbox as well no yeah i i've delivered a message to the kingdom here already i was like gonna ask if anyone here knows if the mermaid kingdom has a kind of global <laughs> general mailbox um i'm sure we if you... yeah go ahead we have a mailbox center for each individual person but we do not have like a mailbox for the entirety of the kingdom 
Just put it in the one that says Princess Coral and the one that says Princess Marina. Either or. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so sorry for bothering. I hope you guys have a lovely night. You as thank well. You. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, well, can... that was weird. Yeah, okay. yeah that, that is weird. Let me go let down the waterfall and then um, you guys can swim up. You may need a water breathing potion to get to the island. That's Ooh, fine. I gave, I gave uh, Jonas some. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, good. I'll be right back. Okay. And then once you guys are all up, I think Anthony did still make... Not a, he's not a full Anthony's mare, struggling. so he's... Uh... I think he's struggling a little bit. Oh. I'm that bad. Oh. There he is. <laughs> He's not a full mare. He doesn't have the speed at the point. He just has the tail. That's that's fair. All right. If you guys would like to follow me around this, I really gotta get a path added here. I don't know why I haven't. <laughs> to be fair, do you have visitors that do you have visitors to the castle often? No. See, when my mother ruled the kingdom, uh, well, not even really my mother. Uh, my like. Uh, <laughs> Ancestors had the Cloud Kingdom really closed off. All right, uh, we have two knights uh, guarding so that nobody interrupts. Um, if you guys would like to go on straight that way, um, just be very careful. <laughs> yes, I see. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> it's very easy. I promise. I made it easy because I can't do parkour to save my life. So. All right. Well, you guys know the drill. Glad to see you both here. Um, mm -hmm. Don't let anybody near. If you see any threats, please take care of them. And Got it. Um, you did not see anybody here tonight. Gotcha. Got it. All right. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Well, um, and if I need anything, I will let you guys know via missive. Okay. Whoa. All right. Good. Ah, okay. You already failed the first jump. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm just going to fly it. It's fine. Okay. Oh, so it's the opposite for this kingdom. Okay. Interesting. What? Oh, the groom position. Opposite than both of ours. I just oh. thought it was interesting. Do I, stand, do I stand on the carpet or do I stand? You can stand wherever you want. Carpet or or not. It, it's here, so I guess I shall stand on the carpet. That works. Okay, well, um, if you guys would like to take a seat, we have the fancy chairs for us, and then, um, I guess it is just us. Okay, and then I will let Estelle know to come down. Breathe, Jonah. I am breathing. <laughs> At least the best I can up here. <laughs> <laughs> You nervous for your big day? Who, who wouldn't be nervous? Hmm. Well, you're married. It's almost like your sister went through this less than a week ago. Hmm. Very true. True. And mm. um, you're marrying a beautiful bride. That is true. Yes. Ooh, oh, here she comes. Hi. I don't like being the center of attention. Now you do, Hug. <laughs> Will the guards be joining us, or will they stand just... They will not, as this is uh, pretty secret, so they okay. don't really know what's going on. Well then, let's just jump right into it, shall we? Or fly right into it, <laughs> as we do here in the Cloud Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Friends, funny. family, we come together today as witnesses to join Estelle and Jonah in marriage. We gather around them now in this beautiful place, and we look on with love and hope 
as these two begin their new life together as one. <laughs> Marriage is a tradition of partnership, of trust, and dependence on one another to navigate the sometimes stormy skies or waters of life. People have said that marriage requires things like work, commitment, and sacrifice. And certainly, all of these things are true. No matter what it looks like in the end, however, a healthy marriage always needs a solid foundation built from love and understanding. The love we need comes from being willing to make those sacrifices, from being committed to working through everything together and maintaining open communications even when it is difficult. The love we need makes the work it takes to maintain it all worth it. On top of that foundation of love, a mixture of work, sacrifice, and commitment, we can build things like trust and all of the beautiful things that make a marriage worthwhile. Estelle and Jonah, are you ready to proclaim that foundation of love for one another in the sight of these witnesses? I am. Yes. Okay. Estelle, do you take Jonah to be your lawfully wedded partner? Will you honor and cherish them, love, and love, trust, and commit to them through joy and pain, sickness and health, and whatever may, life may throw at you, both until death do you part? I do. Jonah, do you take Estelle to be your lawfully wedded partner? Will you honor and cherish them? Love, trust, and commit to them through joy and pain, sickness and health, and whatever life may throw at you, both until death do you part. I do. Okay, then at this time, Estelle and Jonah will exchange rings. The wedding ring is a symbol of binding, a symbol of attachment and of belonging, not of possession, but of partnership. Estelle, will you repeat after me? I promise to love and commit to you my whole life. I promise to love and commit to you my whole life. I promise to be there for you when you need me. I promise to be there for you when you need me. To be honest with you. To be honest with you. And to walk through the valleys of life together. And to walk through the valleys of life together. Now, Jonah, will you repeat after me? I promise to love and commit to you my whole life. I promise to love and commit to you my whole life. I promise to be there for you when you need me. I promise to be there for you when you need me. To be honest with you. To be honest with you. And to walk through the valleys of life together. And to walk through the valleys of life together. Estelle and Jonah, having proclaimed your love and commitment to one another in the eyes of these loved ones, and with the power vested in me by the princess, I am so happy <laughs> to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now join wings, or in, in this case, join wings and hands. Hug. Or you can clap, clap. So beautiful. <laughs> you are now <laughs> Now it's time to party. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to party. Okay. Whew. Oh, that was beautiful. Iris, you did a wonderful job. Oh, thank you. Thank oh. you. I tried. Oh. Okay. Well, congratulations, you two. Um, we have food over here. We have melon juice, apple cider. We have baked potatoes, cabbage rolls, cookies, cheesecake. Um, Jonah and Estelle, you actually have cheesecake on your own individual table over there Fancy. um if you guys want to grab, some, grab food some food and we can we can do a first dance i forgot I my instrument <laughs> oh my I'll fly and go grab some why did you grab oh yeah yeah do you have multiple hold on y'all you all get food talk amongst yourselves i'll be right back what half of these are. I must only get some melon juice.
<laughs> Is that a good song? <laughs> you know, I think I might have heard that song, and it's a human song, and I don't, I don't know, something about it. Definitely be interesting as a first dance song, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, true. Let's see. Oh, I don't have my instrument. I can go grab mine. I have I a have flute if you wish to. I have flute. Oh, I'll take the flute. I'll take the flute. There was a bridal march. So upset. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was already playing. It's okay. Start it. Yeah, we're gonna sit here and play you music while you do your first dance. playing <laughs> but it sounded really good we're so talented we are we should start a band <laughs> yes now the dance floor is open if mm -hmm. others wish to join in please join in <laughs> All right, hold i'm on, searching hold on, i'm searching wait <laughs> where was well, welcome to the family, Jonah. Thank you. Wait, Rain, should I do a bouquet toss? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just the between only... Iris and Rain, though. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, there's only yeah. two possibles. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Ready? Okay. Right. Okay. Ready, set, go. Go on, run Woo! for it. <laughs> You've got Yay, it! Yay, Iris! <laughs> so that means you're the next to be married. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can officiate your own wedding. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> It'll be a lovely ceremony. I am saying this jokingly, by the way. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, I love Iris, it. I'll learn how to officiate. I'll do it. <laughs> I think I'm going to go sit down and try the... Cheesecake over there that they left for us. Okay, I'll come with you. Take a picture of them. We are not hungry. We can just go. We can just go dance more until we are some. Until we get hungry. Oh, picture opportunity. We are, we are not hungry yet, so it's back to the dance floor. Some more dancing. <laughs> yeah, dance to we need something drop. Upbeat. I got right a lot of energy. I'll be right back. I'm <laughs> gonna give here. some cookies to the guards. I had one cabinet. Oh, I see. Hello. 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 Oh, I gave you all of them. Hold on. Uh, Hold on. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank two for you. Cookies. Thought you guys could Thank use you. some refreshments out here. Um, also, Cirrus, I will need to talk to you and uh, tell you some things since you've okay. been away. Um, 
Not not right now, okay. obviously. Um, okay, okay. Later, later, of course. <laughs> but maybe after the... After I'm done hosting. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. Anyway, it should be over here shortly. Shouldn't be too much longer. Yep, okay. aviations are clear. No, no intruders currently sighted. Good. Water elevator is clear. Nothing there. No movement across the clouds. Awesome. Thank you for the report. All right, I will see you guys in a little bit. Sounds good. All right, your highness. And I have a. Uh... Off I go. Estelle, you to eat cookies. you can fly. I know I can fly, but it's his cheesecake, so I can't cheat. Wait, one second. <laughs> My uh, down. Oh, you guys are racing for the cheesecake. Yes, I was going to get another slice. <laughs> She's had a whole one. I want this. This one is mine. I'm going to have a bite. It's going to happen. <laughs> no, my cheesecake. <laughs> oh. oh. Come on. Wait. Oh. Come on. I need to I... hold on. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> oh. One more slice left. One more slice. <laughs> Who will get the last bite? Shall we me? <laughs> no! <laughs> cheesecake! You know, I you hope go. you enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the cookies. There we go, go, Jonah. Hey, no cheesecake. <laughs> I will keep this one. I will save this one for later. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. <laughs> nope, who did that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, it feels as if I'm going to have to watch my, watch my back for this. <laughs> cute. Very cute. Well, this has been great. Yes. Well, um, thank you all for attending. I guess that's, that's really all she wrote. <laughs> well. So, uh. Now Is, what? Are you to become a seraph, or...? That is a good question. Right. Yeah, we didn't- we didn't really figure that out. Yeah. Yes. Well, we- we can let you guys discuss that amongst yourselves. Um... And you can take a couple days to think on it before we make any permanent changes. Thank you. Of course. And then if you decide um, to come here, we can we can discuss that further later. Yes. <clears throat> Alright, well I will leave you two to have some some privacy. I have some other matters to attend to. So, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations again. Congrats. Congrats, you two. Don't uh, have too much fun tonight. Hmm? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Get used to it! You're my sister-in-law now! <laughs> you have a lot of sisters-in-law. I do, I have a lot of them. Alright, nobody, nobody fell off. Which is nope. good. Mm -hmm. Everybody nope. made it off safe. Oh, Jonah's still there, but... Yes. They have to discuss things. Yes, so... so... Mm. <sighs> Well, I'm exhausted. Yeah, it's you, kinda night time. Yeah, you did amazing, though. That was oh, thank you, so thank good. You. Okay. I have a lot to update you on, as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. We'll let, we'll let the water elevator up. Oh, they already have. Okay, good. Okay, I 
don't know where Cirrus and Nimbus went, but they... They're right here. Where? Oh, there. Okay. Oh, incoming. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Um, pretty much everything is over for the night. Um. All right. So you guys are free to go about your normal duties. Sounds and, good. Um, Cirrus, if you want to come with me, I can talk to you and Iris about some things. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then, then you can return to your duties. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if you guys want to have a seat. This is a lot. Um, so as you both know, um, Galaxy has been brought back. Right. Um, and during that time, I found some things out, and I want you guys to to know. Um, Nimbus, I told, because he was um, he was around when some things happened as well, so a while back how do I, how do I say this? A while back, I was blackmailed by by um, the Nether advisor. So I didn't tell anyone. Um, this was right after we came back from the end trip. Um, there was a message in my room and it said that my uncle was a bad man and that my heritage isn't what it seems and that if I wanted to know the truth to meet someone called the bounty hunter um, so I got in touch with Chancellor Kano because Chancellor Kano knows this person and I went to the stronghold and met with this person in secret. They then proceeded to tell me that um, that he was in search of a book and that he had searched the Cloud Kingdom already, meaning he first of all trespassed and was looking around the castle and the grounds um, and that he did not find the book he was looking for, and he wants it back. He wants to have this book. So he said that I need to find it, and I need to bring it to him, and that if I didn't, then he would release Withers upon the Cloud Kingdom, and that if I told anyone, he would release even more Withers among the kingdom, and destroy the clouds. So obviously I was very stressed for a very long time, and I searched for this book. He said it was about basically my parents. And, um, I searched and searched and could not find it. Then we had the meetings about reviving Galaxy, and um, him and Morgan brought it up during these meetings. V briefly, because they didn't say anything in front of Estelle. Estelle was curious as to what document they were referring to, because I didn't know that Morgan was involved until she brought it up. So Estelle confronted me about it and finally got me to tell her the truth. And so she knew when we went back the second time to meet with Princess Morgan. And 
I found the book. It was trapped in a secret chamber beneath the cloud. Or, well, within the cloud. And this book was the history of the past rulers, so my mother and father. And it said that the firstborn heir was a baby boy. What? Yeah. And I don't know if you've noticed the color of the nether visor's wings and the shape. They are white seraph wings, meaning royalty. And I had the thought, but I didn't I didn't think too much about it because he said he would tell me the truth once I got him that book. It didn't happen that day. It didn't happen until the day of Galaxy's revival. We all met in the end and had to sacrifice an item of great value. So I gave them the plushie my mother gave me before she died. The last thing that I really had of her. And we all threw in our stuff, Morgan said the ritual, and it didn't work. Thing then asked Morgan if he should do it now. And Morgan said, I guess so, that's up to Rain. So he pulled me aside, and he told me the truth. He told me that he is the child of Kalis and Estelle and that I was adopted that I am actually the niece of the king and queen so I'm assuming that that means the king I would assume that means the king had a brother unless that means the queen had a brother but I haven't figured that out yet, but apparently I was adopted, and Fang was banished from the Cloud Kingdom, and he said that he has claim to the throne, that if he wanted to, he could take the throne right now and take over the Cloud Kingdom. I mean, not, not on my watch, but he could try. Yeah. So, that was a very upsetting day. He ended up coming back to the ritual, and since it didn't work when I threw in my sacrifice, he threw in a sacrifice of his own, and it worked, and it brought Galaxy back. Then he pulled me aside again, once we got Galaxy back, and he was saying that... Basically, the man that I thought was my father the whole time, the previous king, was not a good man, and that he was banished for something many years ago, whatever. And that the pages in the book that I gave him that were ripped out, he wants them. He's been wanting me to find them, or else the order still stands that he will destroy the Cloud Kingdom. And I've thought long and hard about it. And I'm not setting my foot down. I'm not... I'm not giving up. I'm not going down without a fight. I cowered for a long time. And I'm not doing that anymore. Okay. Now, if just to address the elephant in the room, like, how possible it is, is it to, you know, just uh, take care <laughs> of this person, you know what I mean? Well, the thing is, I don't want to start a war. And mm -hmm. I found, I've been doing a lot of research. And let me go grab it, because I'm keeping it in my ender chest for safekeeping. But let me go grab it real quick, and I'll read you what it says. I do what we gotta do oh, hi, okay. Hello. Okay. So I found. Well, I talked to Advisor Era of the Winter Kingdom. Um, since they have that really big library, um, and I asked for anything on royal laws and clauses 
and this thing has a section on heirs and succession and on banishment and exile. It says that banishment from the cloud kingdom or from the sorry banishment from the kingdom means to send someone away and not allow him to come back due to laws broken or crimes committed. Which he said that he flew in the rain after his dad had died. And then he became like a bounty hunter or whatever and like killed people. Um and then, so it says, if an heir is banished from the kingdom and the ruling monarch dies before passing on the crown's responsibilities, then the crown will automatically go back to the banished heir and the banishment will be lifted. If an heir is banished from the kingdom, but the ruling monarch appoints another heir, the crown's responsibilities, before their passing, then that person will be in the rule and the banishment will remain in place. Once the appointed heir dies, the crown would then go back to the banished heir, and the banishment is lifted. Line of succession will then follow suit. If both the banished heir and the appointed heir are deceased, line of succession then goes from eldest of closest kin. So, that means, since I was appointed the heir before my mother died, that the crown is mine. If I were to die, it wouldn't go to Estelle, it would go back to Faye, and his banishment would be lifted. But, oh. if you notice, we are ahead in the princess points for the end task. And we will be getting another 20 points after this week. That puts us in the lead, meaning I will gain immortality. I will, oh. I will not die. Wow. Way to secure the crown. Right, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I thought when I read this, and I, I almost cried with relief, because if I can't die, he can't kill me. Because, obviously, he, I'm not going to give this to him until after I secure that immortality. After I can't mm -hmm. die, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to make a copy of this and give it to him and be like, read it and weep. You can't take the crown unless I die, and I'm immortal. I mean, should we make a copy of the document, you know, just in case? Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to make a couple okay. copies, probably. Yeah. I'll make a couple I'll copies of it. Burned. Yeah, I'll be like, I have a thousand copies stored everywhere. So, this means the crown will be secure. And then maybe I can just, like, I don't know, find a way to die peacefully many years from now. But... And then line of succession can go on. Like, I'll wait till Fang dies, and then, then you know, someone else can take over. But, if he tries to take war on the Cloud Kingdom still after this, we have a an alliance with the Winter Kingdom. So they said, since they have a um, neutrality pact with the Nether Kingdom, they cannot aid in anything. Like, if we were to start war, they couldn't aid us. But, if the nethers start it, they can come and aid us. Because that's not breaking their, their contract. Mm -hmm. So, that's very good. And after today, well, once I meet with Princess Coral, probably the next week or two, we will solidify a, um, an alliance with them. So that will be two alliances on our side. So the main thing we should be worrying about right now is winning the princess. Yes, and, and we watching out for assassinations. Assassinations. Yes. And protecting the document. Yes. Correct. Which is why I've been keeping it in my ender chest because I don't want anything happening to this because this is my one claim to the to the throne. At least, I'm still of royal blood and I'm not, like, some crazy person off the street, but... Yeah. I mean, that does make you wonder who, though. Who what? Who your parents are. Well, he said that he had met my uncle and that it was a relative of 
I don't, he said he didn't know if it was of the king or of the queen, I don't think. I can't remember quite well. But um, we went to the Mermaid Ball recently. And mm -hmm. that was when they announced that Lord Anthony and Princess Marina are married. Um, and there was a lot of stuff happening last night with Maholia, who's not actually Maholia. Her name's Melody or something like that. And Loralia was involved with it. And Marina died for a bit. And I, d I, d I don't know. There was a lot of stuff happening and I don't even know what happened. I'm just choosing not to get involved in that. Because we have our own stuff to worry about. And yes. I... I don't know. I just... Where was I going with that? <laughs> There's a lot going on. You're overwhelmed. It's understandable. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, and I mean, even with everything going on, I can't say that I am, I've am. i ever been more proud of the way you have handled yourself. Thank you. And Estelle and Nimbus said that if anything happened, that they would not follow Fang, even if he, if he did. If he destroyed the cloud... We would go somewhere else. We would start our own home. Oh, absolutely. And there's no chance that anybody but you is gonna rule over me at the very least. Thank you. That's why I'm just saying I could take one for the team. <laughs> no. We, here. no. we out here though. I appreciate you both. I'm glad to have your support. But I wanted to tell you guys, um kind of one on one or two on one. <laughs> so you guys, so you guys know what is going on. Oh yeah, no, I was. I remember what I was saying. Oh, sorry, <laughs> melon juice, and then I had you know some beer. But um, I we went to the the mermaid ball, and they announced the the wedding or the the marriage of Anthony and Marina, and Fang pulled me aside there, like okay. last night, and. I followed him because he, I saw him staring at me and I was like, okay, this is weird. And he said, can I talk to you? So he pulls me aside and he's like, you know, how's Galaxy? And I'm like, okay, don't ask me about Galaxy that I, you have no right to do so, but what, whatever. And I was like, you know, she's adjusting, we're adjusting. That's all I'm going to say. I was being very short with him. And he said that he asked if I had found any of the pages. And I said, you know, I'm researching. I'm, you know, doing some research on myself. I, and I didn't tell him that I was looking for the pages, really. Or maybe I did. I just said I'm looking for, I'm just, I'm looking for it, you know. And then he brought up, we have a new citizen. His name is Horizon. Um, and he said that Horizon came up to him and noticed that he had white seraph wings and questioned him about it. And I was like, oh crap. So he said that he told Horizon that we have discussed it and the solution has been, or like the, the matter has been resolved or whatever. And, you know, that has been taken care of, whatever. He said, so if he asks you, you should tell him that. And I'm like, I will handle my own people. Yeah. Don't tell me what to tell my citizens. He has no right. He has, he has no claim to it. He is banished. Why does he think, why does he think he can just come in here after being banished for all these years? Put your foot down, girl. Exactly. Yeah, why, why now? I, I don't know. I think it's, it has to be for power. Because there's no way, after being in the nether all this time, that he wants to, that he wants to have all this. That he wants to take over the Cloud Kingdom. This does not suit him. Okay. But, I just wanted to say that, to be prepared. Um, I want to secure the grounds more 
I want to get this wall up and going. I'm probably going to revise the rules a bit. Um, and definitely make sure that we're going out in pairs. And... Just try to promote a lot more safety around here. With this this whole threat. So You're gonna have to do something about people breaking into the palace. Uh... Yeah, like into my bedroom. Twice. This has happened twice now. But that's all I wanted to tell you guys. Um I appreciate your support and everything you guys do. So, okay, well, I am exhausted. I have been working on that event plaza for like, ever. I actually need to update it on the map. I wonder if I can. Oh, look, you can start to see it. Oh, look at the heart. Oh, yeah, it does have a little, I didn't, need... I did not plan that. It oh, cute. it's looking so beautiful. I didn't have time to get, like, rainbows together to make that, so that's why I did the amethyst, but I kind of like it. Having, like, yeah, the amethyst in between. It's maybe, it's very maybe, pretty. maybe we can get a cloud up here, a cloud over here, <laughs> cloud over here. Again, I'll just... All the clouds. Okay, I am going to put this in my ender chest, and I am going to bed. It's raining, and I need a nap. Oh, it's raining. I can't get upstairs. Are you guys done yet? Yes, we are. Oh, all right. I, I updated Cirrus right. on everything that went, went on. Cirrus and Iris. All right. All right. So, I asked him not to tell you until I could tell you myself. Betrayal. Right. Betrayal. <laughs> hey, I was following royal orders, okay? Yes. I understand, yes. it's fine. <laughs> yes, he's just doing as I said. Also, at the mermaid ball, him and um, um, his girl did a duet. <gasps> and they're we all about, about each other. I'm always so excited about every time I hear that he has a date, I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's so great. I know. <laughs> Yeah, they they were so cute, and she came up to me and was asking all about him as a oh. child, and oh, charmer. I know. So, <laughs> I think you need to tell tell her about about him as a child because you were around him more than I was. I mean, we all grew up together, but you you spent a lot more time with him than I did because I had oh. glasses and stuff to attend. So, I can't get up to my room. Uh, there's a bed in my room. <laughs> I'm gonna come bunk with you. Yeah, yeah. Sleepover. Yeah, yeah, just bunk there. Sleepover. 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 This okay. is just like when we were little. Aww. I know. We need a slumber party. I can get my jammies out and we can have a slumber party. Oh my gosh, a little onesie slumber party, <gasps> princess style. Yes, let's do it. Would be great. Yeah. Be great. One of these days. I don't know when your next yes, day off absolutely. is. Um, I also don't know, especially with all the information that I just had to intake. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> it may be a while. <laughs> it may be a while. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, has definitely <laughs> happened. Yeah, it has. It's fine. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lay down in your bed. We can snuggle. Okay. Okay. 